driving like a maniac. <laughs> Today, Burger King just recently launched their brand new King sandwich. It's a pulled pork sandwich Ooh. at Burger King. I'm excited for a pulled pork sandwich at Burger King. Are you? Oh, bro. Yes. So we're taking the car to a parking lot near Burger King. Some might say we're outside the Burger King entrance. And we're going to get one. Let's do it. two of the uh, pulled pork sandwiches, please? Pardon me? Can I have two of the uh, pulled pork sandwiches, please? Is that pork? Yeah, two of the pulled pork. Okay. That's it. I'll go to the window. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. you. Two pulled pork kings from Burger King have been acquired. Jump cut! God, it smells good in here, dude. It does smell pretty good. All right, pulled pork king. We've done, God, seven to eight different king sandwiches over the years. Yeah, dude. Bacon king, cheers. It's been a good week of food. Hopefully this American brew house king is good. Cheers. This is the farmhouse king. Limited time, it's your Burger King. Cheers. <laughs> Rodeo king. Boom. Cheers. All right, Burger King's take on a Philly. This is the Philly Cheesesteak King on sourdough. Cheers. Cheers. A lot of kings, a lot of kings. This is a Corey Wagner second angle. All right. Whoa, this is going to be a mess. They're dude. always so monstrous. I know. Look dude. at the pork porking, porking through the outside. Right. All right, let's open. Holy smokes. This one looks man. a little less. Well, I'll, let's, let's open this one up. I'll save that one for you since that'll be a little neater. Like the branding, very uh, Fourth of July prepared. You know, I love it. I'm sure that was their branding for that. And then if we open it up, boom! Wow, big old bun, sesame seed. Uh, ooh, I didn't know it had crunchy onions on it. Neither did I. That's awesome. Wow. And then it looks like a good amount of pulled pork. It smells pretty good. The sauce is all on there. I mean. Now it's just up to the taste buds, kind of. Plus some pickles, you know, plus pickles. So this is like really, really new for Burger King because they didn't just repurpose something. They have not served pork. Yeah. So now this is like, you've got a bunch of frozen pork packets back there. You're dropping that. What are they putting that on the flat top grill? It's or is that just question. going in their little like uh, super fast, like quick heater? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. All right, pulled pork king, Burger King. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. I pretty good pulled pork. Hell yeah. Yeah, this is really good. It's almost like Sloppy Joe-ish. Mm-hmm. Like the flavor profile, which mm -hmm. I'm a fan of. I like Sloppy Joe's. Yeah. I was a little worried about how the flavor and sauce were going to be. Me too. But they came through. It's not the best sauce I've ever had, but it's like, it's, it's, it, I, I wouldn't be able to differentiate this sauce from that any random Memorial Day cookout that I'd go That's to. That's a perfect way to put it. Actually, this is a cute story. We met on a golf course in Scotland when we were- Get off the shit! Like, unless you, one of your friends is a, like, slow roasting smoker expert, mm -hmm. you would probably laugh at this. But honestly, I don't think the average American person if you serve them this, it would be like, oh, this is clearly fast food. No. Yeah. Which, that's the point. If you can make it, elevate it out of the fast food mentality, you've basically won. Mm-hmm. And one of these, like, six bucks each, right? Yeah. And I like the addition of the crispy onion straws. I'm just getting to those. Me too. But and we're kind of in the middle. Always a good move. And I'm a pickle guy with barbecue stuff, so I love those, the vinegar, the, like, kind of the crunch of the pickle with the soft pork. So I'm digging the kind of textures. Mm-hmm. Wow, man. I'll be honest. This is way better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Me too. I mean, it's really brilliant, I think, because pulled pork is damn near one of the easiest things you can make. You slow cook some pork until it falls apart, and mm -hmm. then you pour barbecue sauce on it. Like, right. a, you, could, you could get away with doing just that. I know. And you'd be fine. Right. So really, this is pretty brilliant. I'm a fan, man. Before we go any further, I want to give a quick shout out outside of everything else we do. On Twitter, I recently tweeted from the number six with cheese account. Does anybody remember what episode it was where somebody tried to buy or sell us acid? Oh, we got a gentleman. What's up? I don't, dude. Do what's up? He wants acid. Oh, no. Sorry, I got none, brother. Sorry, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huddy and the Chili King, fellow food reviewers, father, son. They live in Athens, Alabama, I believe it is. He knew right away. He was like, 
I think it was uh, Taco Bell, I think it might have been like that spicy double chalupa video. Boom, got it instantly. I was editing and I love how I can ask the community that and everybody was trying to figure it out. He got to it right away. So I wanted to say a shout out to you guys. Check their channel out. They do I'm food so, reviews. They're one of the only other fast food channels I watch. The Chili King reminds me of like my dad and his brothers, if they were all melded into one person and they from the South. Mm -hmm. They look similar. They like have like just a fun sense of humor. Like, dude, if I was Huddy's age, right? if I was Huddy's age right now, like my dad and I would have of course Huddy's gone on YouTube. Yeah, Hudson. Mm -hmm. Like, I just, I love their channel so much. If you just like feel good stuff on YouTube, if you like seeing a father-son just create stuff, they're such a fun channel. Is there I anything them, better than that? I just think it's, it's what the platform does really well. It allows yeah. them to up, they've been uploading like daily too recently. It's been nuts. You can that's tell so Huddy's awesome. on uh, school vacation. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Definitely mm -hmm. check that channel out. Mm -hmm. And if you guys want to check two things out, don't sleep on our podcast. No, it's blowing up. New episode every Monday? New episode every single Monday. YouTube, SoundCloud, Google Podcast, uh, Apple Podcast, uh, Spotify. Uh, that's all you need to know. Man, that was good. I was telling Sean, I just made pulled pork on Sunday. People, Do people know that you're a great cook? Have we talked about that enough? I love to cook. He's a really good cook. Shirt down, shirt down, shirt down. <laughs> people that bought double items out of the store when you buy more than one thing you jumpstart your life by having your name rattled off by these two sweaty lunatics on a Yo. Chicago summer day shout out number one Robert McConnell very excited here's what Robert. I like about Robert now you order two things two sets of sunglasses seem to have been a popular move with the sunny G's awesome but we shipped him I didn't notice this when we shipped him uh, these went to an Air Force base. Oh, damn, this bro. It's a fellow Thank brother you. of mine. Thank you for your yeah. service. Shirt shout out number two. This person bought sunglasses and a jump cut shirt. Mr. Nicholas Riley Woo! from the other Athens. Actually, there's a lot of Athens. There's a lot of There's one in Ohio. Yeah, I mentioned, so they're Athens, Georgia, which I believe is where Terrapin Brewing is, if I'm not mistaken, which I would like to jump in a vat of their beer. But <laughs> alas, let's get to the part where we rate it. Whew. Out of five beautiful backyard smokers. How many beautiful backyard smokers do you give the pulled pork king from Burger King, Corey? Well, this is an interesting one. It is. It wasn't the. Uh, it wasn't like the tastiest thing I've ever had, but it tasted really good. Mm -hmm. And much like all pulled pork, I personally am not like like I could eat a hamburger like damn near every day. I could eat pizza damn near every day. I cannot eat pulled pork damn near every day. Imagine what would you do the rest of the day? <laughs> Take naps. Right. Well, I mean, same thing can be applied with hamburgers and pizza, though. That's true. So it's not really the fact that I feel fat and lazy after it. It's just that my uh, pulled pork, that's just one of those few items that, like, I when I'm in the mood for it, I really want it, but I'm not in the mood for it every day, right? Good point. So that being said, um, they really did hit it out of the mark. I'm, there's no pulled pork that's usually really going to blow me away, but I will say this. You guys know this. I give major points to innovation, and maybe Sonic's tried that, but Sonic's a bunch of psychos. They'll stick a hot dog in a cotton candy and try it as a <laughs> I was really item. excited to see what you were gonna say. They're nuts, right? So I don't even really count them. They're, they got like 67 items on their menu. Burger King, one of the main guys who are trying new things, they tried something new, and I'm really impressed by that. I like the crispy onions, and they did a damn good job on something that they probably could have ruined. Um, but still, not the best thing I've ever had. I'm gonna give that a four. Okay. Ma not specifically for fl the flavor was fantastic, but it's mainly for innovation, and I appreciate that. I'm, I'm gonna clap for a four. Um, I was right there with you. I just thought the score was gonna be a little lower for when you said all that because I was like, it's really damn good for what it is. Mm -hmm. But because my dad's a butcher, I do pulled pork all the time. I'm kind of a snob when it comes to barbecue a little bit. Like it's one of the only things I feel like I'm kind of like. Man, I would never get that again. Like for this situation, oh my God, that was great. I will never walk into a Burger King for the rest of summer and ever get that again. Right. Because if I want pulled pork, I live in Chicago, there's a lot of good places smoking meats. You know, but for fast food, you killed it. I'm gonna go 3.5. There you go. Which I mean, well above average. I mean, still, go. I can't believe I just enjoyed it. I have a many burger. arguments I want to make against your rating system. Yeah. But I'm not going to. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. I think everybody in the comments can just argue against me for themselves. There you go. And then I'll just go into a panic and respond to them. <laughs> what do you think Popo's Express number 28 is? Uh, car wash. Yeah, I think you're right. 
We'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Uh, Friday, tomorrow's brewing review. We're in my apartment, making something, drinking something, and hanging out. Woohoo! I'll be there. Will you be there? Yup. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Peace.